the little beaver usually sleeps during the day, but this morning he was awoken by a ray of sun. <laughs> what a surprise! Yumi had never been awake during the day. What should he do now? Hmm. He should wash himself, of course. What happens if you give him a leaf? That's great! Uh-oh, Yumi feels hungry. Where could a beaver find something tasty to eat? Mama Beaver asks Yumi, Would you like some crisp willow twigs? But Yumi didn't want twigs. He said, No, Mommy. Other animals don't eat those yucky twigs. Let's go see what they eat for breakfast. Mama Beaver thought it was a good idea. She suggested they go together after sunset. But Yumi wanted to go find out what other animals eat right away. I'm going to look right away. Twigs are no food for beavers, exclaimed Yumi as he jumped into the water. I'm going to look right away. Twigs are no food for beavers, exclaimed Yumi as he jumped into the water. Oh. <laughs> the pond, Heron caught a fish and gave it to Yumi to try. But Yumi didn't want to eat the little fish. Instead, Yumi and the fish became friends. Bye-bye, fish. Beavers don't eat their friends, said the little beaver, setting his new friend free.
Bye bye. Mama Mouse and her three baby mice offered Yumi their favorite snack, tasty seeds. Yumi ate them all, but he was still hungry. A handful of seeds is not enough for a beaver, Yumi sighed.
Bear was really big. Yumi waved his paws, jumping up and down for a while before Bear noticed him. Bear was very kind and shared some delicious sweet honey with Yumi. Yumi tried to eat it, but it was too sticky. Bear laughed out loud. Ha ha ha, Yumi, you're so funny. It looks like honey isn't food for beavers either.
Yumi was a little scared of heights. Woodpecker tried to soothe him, offering him some maggots and a caterpillar to eat. But Yumi didn't want to eat maggots or caterpillars. Maggots and caterpillars are no food for beavers at all, the little beaver cringed. and he tumbled down the tree. Luckily, he fell straight into a spider web, which stopped him from hitting the ground. Underground was Mole's house. By the time he reached it, Yumi was quite hungry. Mole dug around and found some worms for Yumi to taste. But the little beaver didn't like the worms. None of this food is for beavers, Yumi said, almost in tears. Next, Yumi met Fox. Fox was getting ready for lunch, and Yumi was really excited. 
He was so hungry. But little did he know that little beavers are Fox's favorite snack. Yumi, you're so very dirty. I can't eat you like that. First we need to get you clean, declared Fox. Just as Fox was about to gobble Yumi up, a little fish suddenly appeared. It was the same little fish Yumi had rescued earlier. The little fish quickly sprayed some water just by Fox. The cold drops of water splashed into Fox's nose. Surprised, she leapt up, dropping Yumi. Hooray! Yumi was free! Fox's lunch is not for beavers at all. Yumi was outraged. He thanked his new friend and happily swam back home to his mom. Finally came home, he exclaimed delightedly, 
Mommy, I've seen what other animals eat, and what we eat is best of all. Could I have a willow twig, please? Mama Beaver smiled and gave Yumi a big hug. She listened to his stories about his unusual journey and new friends. Heron, fish, mice, bear, woody, mole, and fox. The little beaver usually sleeps during the day, but this morning he was awoken by a ray of sun. When Yumi finally came home, he exclaimed delightedly, 